Okay, we're going to give you a video on a 1959 Corvette. Um, the car has a lot of originality to it. The paint on the car, the entire paint job, it appears that somebody at some point in time, which a long time ago I'm going to guess, uh, did a quick lacquer paint job on this thing. Uh, the car shows no distressed areas whatsoever. When you look in front of the... Uh, uh, all the panels on this car are still all original. I don't see any places on the vehicle that uh, show any indication of any uh, uh, damage at any point. Everything lines up as it should. A lot of the chrome is still nice on the car. You know, your headlight basils, the structures going down the sides. A little bit of patina on the teeth that I think the majority will clean up. The chrome on the bumpers. I'm going to say this is all original. You can see that there's some chrome deterioration right here. So this bumperette, this is all in pieces, obviously. That needs to be either re-chromed or replaced. And I would re-chrome it as opposed to replacing it because of the originality. Um, going down the side of this guy, um, everything, again, lines up if you look. Uh, the hood lines up the way it's supposed to. The paint on the car is, again, as dull as can be, simply because uh, it, I don't think the car's ever been rubbed out. Somebody did a half-assed lacquer paint job on this thing and uh, just left the car as it was. Bonnie strips are all intact on the fenders in the front. Again, they show no indication of any uh, damage uh, through the years. Uh, the correct vintage hubcaps on it, your strikers down the side, or a little tiny bit of patina, but that's it. Uh, the, um, the fitment of this car is actually much better than the fitment was of uh, the majority of these cars back in that era. Uh, normally you see sometimes big enough gaps that you can put your finger down through and the door alignment is not very good. In this case, it is. The, the, everything is on this vehicle lines up as it should. Uh, your boot area for the uh, uh, convertible top, which by the way, is absolutely brand new. There's no indication of there ever been any use at all on it. And in fact, I guess Alex said that it uh, had been just replaced. Uh, gas filler door, even it fits. It needs adjusted just a hair, but it, it, it lines up as it should. Uh, the entire vehicle lines up, no antenna. It, uh, it's missing for whatever reason, but it does have a Wonder Bar radio, which we'll get into shortly here. Uh, the uh, headlight trim is, headlight trim, the uh, tail light trim is absolutely perfect on this thing. I don't know if it's original or been replaced, but it certainly doesn't need any uh, uh, attention whatsoever. Bonding strips in the rear are just as they were in the front, uh, just the way they should be. Um, the chrome again on the back, the bumpers appear to be original bumpers on this car. Um, let's see if his trunk is done. Let me grab the keys here. If you look at the uh, fitment of the, before I open it, the fitment of the uh, the deck lid, everything again lines up just as it should. The trunk area itself, everything appears to be original on this car. All your uh, um, seals, these rubber seals. Um, of course, if you were going to restore the car, you would replace these. The uh, mat itself is the original mat, and you can see it's, uh, it's hardened to the point where I'm afraid if I go ahead and try to lift it, that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crack this, I'm going to break it. Looking inside the um, fender wells in the back, uh, both sides look uh, absolutely flawless, just the way they should. You know, there's no indication that there's ever been any damage whatsoever done to this car. Obviously, it was an original white car. Uh, Close this down. Closes as it should. Uh, pretty, pretty darn good fitment for these cars. Like I say, the majority of these have absolutely terrible fitment. This guy here is in uh, pretty decent uh, condition fitment-wise. Inside the car, um, it's a different story. 
The seats are in fantastic condition. They look to have a lot of originality. The uh, floor carpeting is good. Everything is uh, nice and straight, at, you know, uh, as it can be there. This is a high dollar item and it's not cracked or marked in any way. Uh, the steering wheel. It does have a 6,500 RPM tack, which doesn't work. We did try, uh, we fired this guy up and it's not working. So it's probably just a gear. The uh, door panels, if you're going to restore this car, definitely need to be replaced. This um, vinyl material that they're uh, made out of, molded vinyl, is turned from uh, vinyl into some sort of ceramic. <laughs> uh, the uh, soft part of the dash this is the main part that uh, you're definitely going to have to do something with it. Uh, it's, it's shrunk up beyond repair. You're not going to heat that and put it back up into place. So this dash pad itself is going to have to uh, be replaced. The interior of the car, although it, it has a, you know, the door panels needing replaced and the dash pad, the rest of it appears to be in excellent condition. It has a Wonder Bar radio on it. It has a Hurst shifter with a three-speed transmission in it. Um, you can see the doors close as they should. The engine, everything on this motor appears to be original. It definitely has the correct intake uh, manifold, the correct WCFB dual quad carburetors. It is a solid lifter motor, 270 horsepower. It's a 519 block, which is correct uh, for a 283 uh, hypo car. Um, and the uh, numbers on the pad on the right-hand side are very legible, and you can see that they haven't been uh, messed with whatsoever. The air cleaner itself, somebody didn't like it through the years and was not kind to it, but I think you can take this lid and have someone straighten it and then just burnish it, and I think you'll be okay. It's no, it really not torn or really dented badly anywhere. Just a small bunch of little dinghies in that here. But that could be repaired or replaced very well. Correct valve pan covers for the year. It doesn't appear that this motor actually has ever been out of the car, to be quite honest. I don't know how many miles are actually on this thing, but it, it shows itself that uh, um, it's, an original, uh, it's an original engine. Correct uh, fan shroud, the correct radiator. Uh, everything on this is, is just the way it should be. You know, I don't see anything that uh, shows that it's been removed from the car at any point. Let me see here. Uh, could be the reason uh, the tacks aren't working. Uh, probably it'd be nice if it had a cable to go from the uh, uh, generator to the uh, tachometer itself, but. Uh, that's generally what the, oh, here it is right here. It's disconnected. So I don't know. We might have to try it again to see if it does work. But um, at least the uh, cable, the cable's intact. That's why it's taken off. The cable's frozen. Needs a new cable on it. Uh, correct fuel lines for the WCFB carbs on it. Still has the, uh, Heat riser choke assembly, the way it should be. And again, look at the door, the fitment of this thing is really phenomenal. It's really in great, great shape fitment wise. Patino on the uh, door handle, you'd want to replace that. Um, everything on this car fitment wise is very good. Uh, it, it's something that, you know, you have a good basis of a, uh, a, a car that, uh, it is a fantastic candidate for a, uh, a total restoration that you could make a superstar out of this thing. Um, it is the original white and red paint that came on this car. Um, I know you said you wanted to paint it black because that's what you, you know, had way back when. But in the meantime, in the interim, it, it wouldn't hurt to take this car and uh, either stuff it down and have somebody lay a really great white paint job on it and then just go ahead and take care of the small little things that need to be done to make it a superstar and leave it a white car. Or you could go ahead and do a complete color change on it, which is going to run you a little bit more money, but 
it'll give you what you want. But there's certainly nothing wrong with scuffing this car down and painting it white the way it was originally because it's a great color combination. It's the original color combination for Corvette, white with red. Um, everything lines up as it should. I mean, this is a very, very fantastic candidate for a uh, uh, chance to make this car a superstar, not just an average uh, 59 Corvette, but great condition. The undercarriage, just from kneeling down looking at it, uh, seems the same way. The motor sounds great in the car. And uh, I think you got a really nice car here. It's something you can uh, do a little things up to, to start with, or you can go ahead and do a complete measure on the thing and end up with uh, something well into the six figures if you want.